So let me uh, clear my board. Uh, now let's uh, discuss about the, our architecture. So uh, in the th in that project, so first of all, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to you can say uh, collect. Um, you can say uh, data data set um, collect data. Okay, because uh, if I talk about uh, machine learning or deep learning, so data would be our first you can say a choice okay so if we don't have any kinds of data so we cannot perform uh, this kinds of operation on top of that so in our first stage okay uh stage one uh stage one will uh, collect you can say uh, some kinds of data uh with related uh, to our projects okay then after uh, collecting that data uh, what i will do i will you can say uh, uh i will uh, do some analysis okay i will do some analysis on top of this data set and i will do some you can say pre-processing step uh pre-processing uh pre-processing step because uh, there would be you can say lots of uh you can see issues in our data set so i have to also fix that and after you can say pre-processing uh you can say uh, i will you can say um uh, create a model okay i will uh create a model uh, actually uh, i'm gonna uh, train that model okay uh, you can say uh, i will use uh, um, i will use clustering technique here clustering clustering algorithm i will be using because uh, why i'm going gonna use this clustering uh, you can say algorithm because uh, if i talk about this collaborative filtering so i think i you have already you can say got to know that uh, if i want to like you can say figure out uh, you can say uh, to uh, similar kinds of users okay over the world so wh what i need to do i i need to just you can say figure out their behavior okay i need to figure out you can say their uh, choices okay so based on that i can you can say cluster them together okay suppose uh, this is uh, user one this is user one uh, and uh, this is user two and you can say this is user uh, three and and this is user four okay uh, so if if they have you can say uh, you can say similarity okay if they have you can say same interest so i can make a cluster of them okay and if they, uh, these two user have you can say uh, same interest so i can cluster up them okay? so that's how i can uh, make a cluster okay and i can put uh, you can say any kinds of user uh, based on their choices okay so this would be you can say our uh you can say uh overflow uh in this project okay so i'll be using the clustering technique after creating the model i will be you can say implementing a web application web app because i i have already shown you the front end uh, of this application okay so that like any user can uh, put any kinds of copy and they can get the recommended system and after that i will be you can say deploy uh deployed uh, uh to cloud okay to cloud and here i will be using the heroku okay so because uh it is free okay free to use so you can like and this projects would be like uh you can see small projects so you can like uh, reply to the heroku uh so i'll be showing you okay uh why i, I just want to show you this, uh, this kinds of application you can also deploy on the heroku itself okay uh, uh, on the cloud itself like uh, uh so that like anyone can use your application okay so this was our uh, you can say project architecture uh i'm gonna you can say uh, implement i'm gonna use in that you can see entire video and I think you got it. And uh, now uh, let's, you can say, uh, implementing our projects.